Today on Drawbly, Ben is drawing real people. And if you're real people, click that subscribe button. <laughs> and comment below with ideas of what real people look like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you just so happen to draw some real people, maybe share them online with the hashtag Drawbly. Yes. So uh, Abby and I have been drawing some real people from Earth's world. Mm -hmm. uh, link there on screen for spelling if you need it. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a website where a photographer goes to uh, American county fairs and festivals of all kinds and takes photos unbeknownst to them. I, I actually don't know if he has permission to take their photos or not. Uh, but anyway, we get some photos of some real people. We try drawing those people, try learning from not drawing um, the typical supermodel-esque face. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this reference. And have uh, have some, some fun drawing yeah, some real people. Yeah, it's so fun. I mean, if you want to see me do it, check out my video from before. There are um, some really cool photos in here. But for now, let's, yeah, let's hang out with Ben and see what he does with it. So you saw my first one. The first one I focused a little more on shape language because that was one of the lessons, you know, creating something that's real blocky, mm -hmm. right? more in that vein. Mm -hmm. uh, this was so here I'm going to do like three really quick doodles so these first few are only like, you know, a, a minute of, of footage. They're, they're pretty short. Uh, sped up, that is. I spent maybe 10 minutes on each one. Not very long at all. Uh, and then we'll get into one that I did spend a little more time on. There were a lot of takeaways and different techniques that were mentioned with this, but I think the big part was to try something new, get outside of our comfort zone, and uh, experiment. This guy's face was extremely unique, mm -hmm. and there were a lot of photos of them, but I thought that their profile was extremely striking. The lighting on that is really striking as well. Yeah, I, I didn't spend, this was the sketch that I spent the least amount of time on out mm -hmm. of all of them. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, a lot of really unique people to attempt to draw and learn from. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, I, I was a big fan fan of this assignment. Me I don't too. Know oh, I you. really liked it. I loved it. It was so fun. And I liked that it was just really a value study too. Nice to step away from the complexity of color for a minute because that's hard. Although you added color to this one, didn't you? Yeah. So this it is so good. This is my, so I think you said during your video, which was um, maybe, maybe like two videos ago, uh, when you did your assignment is that you did like 10 faces. Mm hmm. I only did like three or four here. But you took a long time. But I spent on this a one. lot more time on this one in yeah. the end. Uh, because I really liked this guy's face. I thought this would make for a really interesting portrait. Mm -hmm. So here's my early sketch, my early part of the process, just kind of figuring things out. One thing I've been, or one thing I have tried to do in the past, and one thing that I tried to do here, was be a little more haphazard or loose with my sketch and try to let some happy accidents kind of happen where I'm not trying to be incredibly accurate. Instead, I'm trying to let some of that stylization shine through mm -hmm. if it happens. And for the stuff that doesn't work, I, you know, kind of get rid of that or try to. Yeah. Try to correct and get rid of what I don't like. But yeah, that was my my general process here during the early part of this uh, this character. Yeah, cool. Um, have you ever been to one of these kinds of fairs? You must have. Uh, so I grew up in Indiana. So we, you must have. <laughs> we had a, a thing called the Fireman's, yeah, Fireman's Festival mm -hmm. in Bright, Indiana, which mm -hmm. was somewhat close to where I grew uh, grew up. I didn't grow up in Bright, but I I grew up in a cornfield near it. <laughs> Not, not true. Um, and that was a really fun thing to go to. Every year that was like a kind of a big deal. They would bring in one of those spinny things where you'd stand against the wall and it'd spin you so fast that oh my gosh. Uh, you would like be pinned against the wall. That was a thing that they had. I think later on they ended up getting a Ferris wheel, uh, but that was by the point I was far too old to be going to the Fireman's Festival. Far too old festival. to be going to the anyway. Fireman's Festival. Yes, I, once I became old and mature, reaching the age of 13. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kinds of things did they have at the Fireman's Festival? I don't really remember. I don't think they had a lot. It was, you know, they had cotton candy. They had all sorts of other foods. They might have had the thing that you could s somewhat gamble on, where it was like the you peel back the paper and it would have different fruits like banana, cherry, watermelon, all mm. sorts. Do you remember those mm -hmm. at all? Does that sound mm -hmm. familiar? 
Uh, I think they had like uh, the thing where you pull a duck out of the pond and it has a number on the oh, bottom. Those are fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they had other they say, traditional. Like, I'm still five and think they're fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's <laughs> those fun. Those are still fun. Well, you weren't very convincing in, in your. Remarks. <laughs> but this did start as a value study, I will say. But then later on, I added some more color to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Did, did you ever go to festivals when you were younger? Mm hmm. Um, in two capacities, uh, the first being the four, the Warren County 4-H fair, which was huge. Ah, uh, see, I never went to 4-H stuff. I didn't really do much with 4-H. I did one little season of archery, and then I helped. You did? I did. I didn't know archery was a part of 4-H. Which H is that? Um, archery. <laughs> archery. <laughs> And I helped my friends uh, with their llamas. We did a llama show once where we dressed up in like these what? little Aztec outfits and led the llamas in a pattern. It was so fun. Wow. So, and I also got to go to one and see a demolition derby once, which was really cool. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. What did they demolition? Cars. cars? Yeah. They drove them into each other. Mm. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of entertaining. And on a beautiful summer night with the sun setting, you're like, well, why not? <laughs> And it then, was a beautiful summer night as I watched <laughs> the men slap their cars together. The only thing that could possibly be more fun, I bet, and I've never been to one, would probably be like a monster truck rally or something. Yeah, I've never been to one of those. I bet that'd be kind of cool, though. I mean, I, I'm not above saying that would be really cool. <laughs> Let's go to a monster truck rally. I met a nurse who was a traveling nurse, and she said when she wasn't traveling, she and her husband drove their big trucks that held their monster trucks to monster truck rallies. Wow. Yeah, all kinds of interesting people. Um, I went to a lot of festivals when I used to work with the rides and games for one of, for them in our area. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. You were a rides and gameser. Yes, I was. What did you what rides and games did you work on? Um, let's see. There was like a teacup spinny ride. Oh, those are I hate those. Those make yeah. me so sick. Well, so did everybody else. Luckily, I didn't work that one too often. I never had to clean up barf on it. Ugh. Some people did. You just dumped water on the barf until it flowed out the drain hole. Oh, holes. that's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were other rides. I would mostly work the little games. People quickly clicking off of our video. <laughs> I know. No, go head back. Um, I did that because what was funny was the people that they, what you could win was the craziest prizes. And we would spend so much time setting could up these prizes. Could you win a prizes. llama? You could win photographs uh, of, of like little sports celebrities or little Oh, or I remember that. No, that yeah. was totally a thing. It was. Uh, but later on, do you remember that they had also like weird photos of like I like Optimus Prime, but it'd be like from the movie. They would have like movie photos as well of like actors and yeah, actresses. Yeah, no, all of mine were pretty much like Selena Gomez was a big one. Batman. But the photos all looked so old. Oh, I only cared about Justin the cool Justin Bieber. <laughs> um, Justin Batman. Snoop Dogg. It was so funny. And I did that to pay for cheerleading. Wow. Yeah, because my cheerleading coach was married to the carnival runner. Of um, course. No, she wasn't. Never mind. That was her brother-in-law. Her brother-in-law ran the carnival. It sounds like there was some corruption in this scheme. Some uh, nepotism. Yeah, the whole family ran it, and then they employed the cheerleaders and some of the football players uh, to make money for their sports. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was something. It was hot. Wait, it, what? It was very, like, hot out. Oh, the okay, time. yeah. No, it was not a... The festival was so hot. <laughs> like, oh, man. All the cute boys came to the festival. No, the cute... No, just the annoying boys. Oh, oh my god. Where were the cute boys? I don't know. Where were you? <laughs> I, I couldn't find them. <laughs> They were probably there, and I just was too over it to care. <laughs> Whoa. But now you're not over it? No. I'm like, get me back to them festivals. Let me see those cute boys. Mm. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so that's what I did to pay for cheerleading. And that's Abby's festival tale. Yeah. At that time, I was driving a Jeep. Uh, my brother's Jeep he'd bought, and then he moved across the country, so I got to drive it. It was a Jeep with flames on the hood. Whoa, and that's so sick. a tire sick. cover that said, save the Tatas. <laughs> and you drove this? Yes. That's awesome. And one time, I was driving home in the dark, and it was in Reading, where there's this giant railroad track across the road, and you can't see it in the dark, but it, if you go over it at any speed. <gasps> you ramped it? I did, guys. Accident. Sick jump. It was freaking terrifying uh -huh. to catch air by accident in this rackety old Jeep. Oh my gosh. I bet that was so cool. I mean, I bet everyone around town knew your vehicle too. 
with the save the tatas and on the, the back. flames on the hood. And then the flames. The scary yeah. thing about that Jeep was half the time the speedometer didn't work, so I'd get on the highway Ooh. and just be like, I hope I'm going the same speed as everybody <laughs> else. And if you want to hope that you're going the same speed as everybody else, you should click that subscribe button. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. And, um... Share your art oh, yeah. <laughs> on Instagram with the hashtag. That's the other thing we say at the end. Thank you. <laughs> and also, this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. Our lines are not very complex <laughs> at the end, but somehow I always forget them. I know. It's I need, hard. Can we get some note cards? Can we just get a poster in our office? <laughs> Here's the thing you say. Starting lines, you, finishing lines. You have to remember like two things then. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <then. laughs>